What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel Davo. In this video, we're going to talk about how to move to Italy or basically how to get anything accomplished in life, uh, if any big goals you have and just you'll see what I'm talking about. We are back. Um, we're going to be doing a 30 day challenge where I post every single day. Now, some of those are going to be shorts and some of those are going to be long form videos. It's been a long time coming. We're going to talk about three things that you can do today that will help you in your move to Italy. If that's what you're planning. And if you're not planning on Italy, I can even take Italy out of this whole conversation and we can just talk in general. If you're expecting me to talk about visas, I've done that in the past and any updates about like the, the digital nomad visa is not part of this video. What I'm going to talk about is probably really what's blocking you in this moment or what's made it so you haven't accomplished this uh, move to Italy up until the, now. It's story time in my house. When I was in my 20s, I was living in an area where uh, where I grew up and in that area, it was pretty typical for people to get married during university during right basically 22 23 24 is the standard age so if you hit 25 and you're not married people start looking at you funny <laughs> okay I'm, I'm stereotyping a little bit it really is how it feels uh growing up in 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 southeast idaho now maybe things have changed but i don't really think that's possible. I made it all the way to 29 years old working uh, after university and uh, had was, you know, completely content to a certain point until I recognized that I did at that point, 29 years old, want to find a partner in life. I was going through life up until that point a little bit like without direction in regards to relationships. Okay, I was, you know, spending time hanging out with friends, meeting people. At 29 years old, I made a decision and that decision was the direction of I'm going to search for a wife. And that might sound weird to some of you. For me, it made sense. I started searching online and I came across a profile. It was this girl named Ella. When I... Uh, started speaking with her you know we first connected online and then we forgot about each other for months she dated people i dated people and uh she was actually on a trip to barcelona with a colleague where she i guess she was hiding in the hotel room because he liked her and she didn't like him as much and i happened to see her on facebook we had added each other so i wrote sent her a message and from that moment on we skyped Kind of on a daily basis and if you've ever had a long term distance relationship you can imagine it's kind of hard to connect especially if you've never met in person and especially if one of you is in idaho and another of you is in italy so i would do kind of weird things i'm gonna gonna give you a bit of a sneak peek of who i am maybe this seems creepy but i created this photoshop photo when i was really really bad at photoshop she's obviously not in the same place as i am I took a picture of me posing with a friend. I cropped him out and I put her. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. I know. I did this as a gesture to show her that we could be closer than, the, you know, I don't remember what I was doing. It was just to be funny. Okay. I need a timeout. I have three uh, recommendations on what you can do in order to make the big move in whatever direction you're going in life. Okay. The very first one is choose a direction. If that is... Italy, for example, then you've already chosen the direction. But I'd like to challenge you a little bit by saying maybe Italy isn't what you're looking for. Maybe you're just looking for change in general and maybe your true desires are keeping you from moving to Italy because that's not actually your true desire. Now, how does that really make sense? Sometimes we, we can fool ourselves. Sometimes it's just not clear because we've never really written down our goals. We've never really thought about it all that much, but our friend moved to Italy or bought a house or our friend made this big change in life or a, a loved one, whatever. And it seems like something exciting. But at the same time, we have so many questions about it that we haven't really decided that that's for us yet. And perhaps those things that you think are going to be the big obstacles are really you just telling yourself you're looking for something else. So you need to determine this. And there are a few different ways you can do that. If you, dear friend, have been wondering why you did not reach the place in life or acquire the things you desired, perhaps you have been expending your energies in exactly the opposite direction from what you should. And this comes from an author known as Elsie Lincoln Benedict. Uh, actually, I think she is not as popular as she should be because I've been recently going through her book, how to get anything you want. 
she has she studied psychology and did an amazing job back in the 1920s she was an inspiration even then and everything she writes is very very applicable now i do recommend accessing that book and there's a link below that can help you access that by joining a mastermind group if you're interested in that i am an affiliate and it will help this channel out i am actually going through the program at two so i'll let you know a little bit more about that a little later on back to the story at a certain point i decided to make the trip to visit her and this direction of my life of choosing to find a potential wife opened up doors that i really didn't really expect you know i ended up traveling to Europe for the first time. She didn't have a car. So for me, I, we went in car. I drove a car every day of my life up until that point. Uh, this was my first experience really like traveling with public transit, taking bicycles and dangerous streets in Italy. It was, it was kind of a culture shock, sincerely. Even like the food. The food that we ate was definitely different from my typical diet, much healthier, a big mix of uh, vegetables, Mediterranean style. And that to me was not something I was used to. When you're doing any kind of goal in life, you've chosen your direction, but it's not all it takes. Okay. My second point is that in order to really achieve something, you need a deadline. A deadline will help you reach those goals faster. And Instead of it just being a, a long-term dream, you'll be able to um, set a time in which you want to be married. Now, I didn't say I'm going to be married June 13th of 2000. And I didn't say it like that. But what I did decide is that I'm not going to put off a decision like this. Like if I meet a girl that I think is fantastic and meets all the checks, all the boxes, as we would say, and I guess you have to be prepared in the sense of you've already created those boxes. You checked the boxes. What are you going to do about it? Some of the people in the world, they'll, they'll spend um, years in the courtship of being engaged. And if that was you, that's fine. For me, it doesn't work because I don't really believe in, in extending that long period of not programming it. If I'm going to commit, I'm going to commit, especially if I feel right about the situation. At 30, 29, nearly 30 years old, I felt pretty good, felt confident that the decision was good. And so before I went to Italy, I actually brought a ring with me. I was ready to make the decision. The deadline date wasn't set yet, but the idea in my mind that if she was who I thought she was, then I was going to propose to her. She'd have to accept that. But for my side of things, I had set a goal. And uh, as a nice little reminder, uh, if you've ever read this book, actually I actually have two versions of it here, Think and Grow Rich uh, by Napoleon Hill. I've got these two versions. This one's newer. Uh, this one came as a free gift in the mastermind that I joined that you can access below. She said, a goal is a dream with a deadline. We're taking our dreams, we're making them real. That is the second step on achieving whatever you really want. First, what was it? Direction. So you know which direction you're going to be going. So you're not going in the wrong direction and putting all of your energies against what you actually desire. And secondly, setting a deadline for that in your own mind to say, look, we're going to make it happen. If it's meant to be, we're going to do it. And um, making some achievements in that direction, putting that in the Italy category. If Italy really is the direction you want in life, you know that and you've studied it and you've figured it out, you've prepared for it. At a certain point, you're going to have to commit to it. Right. If you've committed to it and the reason why you haven't made it is because that you're planning for retirement, that's fine. But if you're saying, I don't know how to get there, uh, let's commit a bit deeper because anyone who wants to get here can get here. There are people that are moving here, you know, as of it's a little bit illegally potentially, but they're coming in as a vacationer and applying here to be a resident and making it work out. Usually it's alongside a citizenship, but there are elective residency visas. There are various things. But the thing I'll challenge you to think about is that if you were the person you needed to be at this moment in time to have what you want, you would already have it. So therefore you're probably missing a step or two. If you're trying to get to Italy and you set the, like you're dedicated to the idea, but you're still finding these roadblocks ahead of you, there's something you're missing in your life. Like 
You might say, oh, yeah, of course, that's the money side of me. Yeah, but what does it take to get the money, right? If you need the money, you're missing the puzzle piece of your life that will have the money to get to Italy. Okay, does that make sense? Anyway, so these two steps, very important to understand. And this little bonus thought of if you really want something in life and you haven't got it yet and you've set the deadlines, and you still haven't achieved it, most likely there's a missing piece, okay? And it's up to you to figure out what that is. I'm not gonna give it to you. I don't know what it is for you specifically. I set the deadline and I asked her, Elsie Lincoln Benedict says, you get what you prepare for. I brought the ring with me in my pocket all the way to Italy for a two week trip. I could have ended up using that round trip ticket and just never telling her I had that ring in my pocket. But at a certain point I was like, no, nope, it's happening. Uh, I proposed to her in Switzerland. We took a trip. She, she said yes. And in 2013, we were married. I've got to admit that I wasn't really prepared for what it would be like to live in Italy, in Italy full time. That was not part of my plan. It was not part of my direction. It was not part of my uh, deadline. For me, it was specifically finding a lifelong partner, finding someone who matches all he checks all the boxes, like I said, and to take action at the moment. It is a long, sustained, persistently encouraged point of view that determines the kinds of things that come your way. L.C. Lincoln Benedict again. Persistence. If we persist in the things that we've committed to, then there's no possible way that we can't succeed. Another little quote from a book that I'm reading, that, the book I'm reading of L.C. Lincoln Benedict is that, if you plant like potato seeds, if you plant potatoes, you're never going to get roses. But if you plant rose seeds long enough, like every day for, you know, years, no matter what kind of soil you're planting the roses in, at some point you're going to get roses. Okay. So persistence really does make the difference about success and not success. Those who have succeeded have in every instance consciously or unconsciously used their minds as they were intended to be used. Those who failed unconsciously violated the laws of the mind and reaped the inevitable result. Another Elsie Lincoln Benedict quote. And she's got some really, really good, like every single sentence I'm pulling. I just open her book and I see a phrase. And I'm like, oh, that's really good. Okay. So anyway, I do highly recommend you checking out the offers down here if they're still available when you get to this video. Using a mentor like her is powerful because in the end, they've been through it. They understand some things better than maybe I do, and I can learn and grow and follow along. So I, I do recommend you guys read, uh, especially this period of time, eighteen late 1800s, early 1900s, really good stuff. It's usually where you find the stuff we're talking about today. I mean, like any mentor that I've had usually is quoting things that they discovered from one mentor to the next and we just passed it down for a long 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 time from even these guys admit that they learned it from somewhere else between finding your direction creating a deadline for that direction that goal i should call it a goal but i'm going to call it direction direction deadline and persistence i've learned a few different things you know and i'm going to share this last story as i go out i started this channel following the guidelines of a mentor sam ovens uh, he's from New Zealand, owned consulting.com. Now he owns school.com. We have a, a community built on school.com here, uh, the Italian Real Estate Mastery Group. You can join that in the link below as well. He taught me, I created this, this, this imagery of who I am, like what my accomplishments are, what milestones I've achieved. And after that, I built another one that showed who am I becoming? Up until a certain point in time, I had accomplished even the stuff that I built for my future. I said, I'm going to have a YouTube channel. I'm going to help. I'm going to consult people. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. I had this direction. I had these deadlines and I persisted, but I only persisted for a short period of time in rel relative to what I'm talking about here. This is an example of learning from your failures because I stopped doing that at the end of the road of this image that I painted in for my life is pretty much the moment that I stopped posting on YouTube because I probably didn't have a good, clear vision of my direction. This has been almost nearly two years since I really took YouTube seriously. 
We're back. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're doing a 30 day challenge. So I'll be posting today, tomorrow, the next day for 30 days. One of the reasons is I was watching some of my, my videos a few months back and I was looking and I was thinking I created that because I didn't really think that that was possible anymore. I didn't have the, that brain that created content and just looking at it, I was, I was impressed of myself. Uh, but more a little bit shocked and concerned because I felt like I had changed and I was incapable of making content anymore or uh, making at least that caliber of content, like something informative that was, you know, really, really good in my eyes. I realized something was a little bit wrong. And at that point in time, I started pulling mentors. Now you can see I'm wearing the 10X hat. Uh, I listen to Grant Cardone a lot. I feel like he's very motivating for me and I've done it so so far as to actually become a 10x business coach. And in the future, I'll announce what that really means or who that's going to benefit. In addition to that, I finally accomplished some goals that I've been planning. I became a licensed real estate agent. Uh, I'm a U.S. licensed agent in Idaho. When I went back to visit the family in Idaho, I went ahead and took the test and I have accomplished that step in life. I feel like it was a thing I was avoiding for a really long time. It's like, I don't want to be an agent. I don't want to be an agent. And I found this thing that I believe is going to work really well for the plans that I have for myself in the future. I have a clear vision of the future and I know exactly what I'm going to be doing here on the channel from basically the moving forward. So we'll see you again tomorrow.